क्वेश्चन नंबर वन राइट इन वर्ड्स नंबर इज गिवेन यू हाउ टू राइट द नंबर इन स्पेलिंग सो वेन एवर नंबर इज गिवेन यू राइट द प्लेस वैल्यूज यू नीड टेंस हंड्रेड नाउ कैन यू कैन रीड इजीली फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी थ्री देन राइट द स्पेलिंग फाइव hundred and forty three this one first write the places you need tens hundred now read the number four hundred and six four Hundred and six. You can try this one. Question number two. Write in figures. Six hundred and seventy-two. Okay. Here the number has been given in words. You have to write the number. So six hundred means you have the three places. You need tens, hundred, six hundred, six hundred, and seventy-two, seventy-two, four hundred and sixty. So again, you have three places. You need tens, hundred, four hundred. And sixty. You can do the remaining one. Question number three: How many edges and corners each object have? Cone is given. Cone have only one edge. Only one edge is there, and corners are zero. Okay, edge means side. This one. Your rectangle have four. One, two, three, four. Four edges and four corners. These are the corners for the rectangle. And triangle has three edges and three corners. Question number four. Write the expanded form. Number is given. You have to write the expanded of form of the given number. For this purpose, you write the places. It will help you. Seventy five. See by reading only come to know seventy. And when we do expanded form, we have to use the plus sign. To show the each value, seventy plus five, fifty-four. You need tens, fifty. Then plus ten. This is very important. Plus four, fifty-four. Remaining you try. Question number five. Write the correct sign less than or greater than. Always you have to read from this side and compare. Twenty three is greater than or less than forty three. In twenty three you have two tens, and in forty three you have four tens. So two tens are less than four tens. Therefore. Twenty-three is less than forty-three. Forty-five is greater than or less than fifty. Let us compare. You need tens. You need tens. In forty-five, you have four tens. In fifty, you have five tens. Therefore, forty-five is less than 
50 38 and 13 in 38 you have 3 tens in 13 you have 1 ten 3 tens is greater than 1 ten therefore 38 is greater than 13 this you have to try question number 6 write the number in ascending order ascending order means arranging the given number from small number to big number 28 8 44 in these three given numbers 8 is one digit number so 8 is smaller than the two digit numbers put the comma now compare these two numbers 28 is there 44 is there so 28 is smaller than 44 so you have to write it first and finally 44 ascending order 65 15 33 here 15 only 110 is there so smaller number 65 and 33 when you compare 33 three tens are there so it will come in the second place and 65 in the end ascending order question number seven write the number that comes before and after so middle number is given you have to write the before number and after number 88 88 so here 87 will be there 87 88 89 like this you have to do 21 is given so before 21 will be 20 and after 21 20 21 22 60 is given so before 60 59 60 61 8 make smallest and biggest two digit number from given numbers two digit number means two places will be there unit place and tens place unit place tens place smallest number to make the smallest number you have to use the small number first your 4 is small so 4 you write at the tens place and 8 at the 8 at the unit place 48 is the smallest number and to make the biggest number write big number at the tens place here 8 is the big number and then 4 84 is the big question number 9 write the numbers in descending order Descending order means arranging the given numbers from big to small. 67, 44, 96. So here 96 is the biggest number. So first you have to write that. Put the comma. Putting comma is very important. Then when you compare these two numbers, 67 is bigger than 44 then last 44 you have to write so this is the descending order similarly 73 31 18 80 is the biggest number first you write that one put the comma compare these two numbers 73 and finally 31 Question number 10 addition 75 plus 18 so you have to do addition whenever you do addition you have to begin from the uh, unit place first number 5 keep in your mind and show the 8 fingers after 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so first you write the 13 here so it will help you and then write the place 
that means three units you have to write here and one ten you have to carry over one plus seven is equal to eight eight keep in your mind eight plus one is nine twenty nine plus twenty five nine keep in your mind five fingers show count forward ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen write fourteen here and write the place you need tens four you write here and one carry over here one plus two is equal to three three plus two is equal to five this you can do question number 11 write the value of coins and notes notes means currency notes here you can see the 50 rupees currency note so the value of this note will be 50 the value of this note will be 10 10 rupees note the value will be same 5 rupees coin the value will be 5 10 rupees coin the value will be 10 question number 12 word problems Raj has 39 marbles he bought 16 more how many marbles does Raj have altogether so when you read the sums two times you will come to know that you have to find out the total altogether means total whenever a sum related to altogether total it is related to addition so first Raj has 39 marbles so first you write how many marbles Raj have 39 he bought 16 more so he bought 16 you write it down so we have to find out altogether means total plus sign then do the addition 9 plus 6 9 keep in mind 6 fingers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Write the 15 here. Write the place you need. Tens. Find number. Write here. 1 tens. Carry to the tens place. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. These two sums you can try read the sums two times try to understand the meaning of the sentences and then solve it question number 13 write the table of 7 and 8 so you have to learn by the table of 7 and 8 practice it nicely And write without seeing. Question number 14. Subtract. Subtract means minus. 55 minus 30. So here it is given in horizontal. So you have to arrange the sum in vertical. First number. You have to write first. 55 minus 30 so like this you have to arrange it first vertical then you have to begin with the unit place 5 minus 0 from 5 if you take out 0 how many will be left 5 write 5 5 minus 5 minus 3 from 5 remove 3 1 2 3 how many left 2 right here 2 25 is the answer question number 15 
look at the picture and write the answer so first we should know the spellings of ordinals first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth learn by the spellings question number one name the fruit in the third position third position see the picture you'll come to know grapes grapes are in the third position what place is a watermelon in see the picture it is in sixth place what place is the pineapple in pineapple you will find in the first place name the fruit in the fourth position apple what place is the orange in orange is in the second place 